They should never be mixed together. Always fear God. I answer to God alone. Just like Joseph. Daily Steps for Today. Through Royal Steps Television, IAN Ministries with Dr. Gabrielle Hope. Here is your word of the Lord for today. Psalms 119.105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Your word, this precious holy Bible that we have. My precious holy Bible, I have it marked up so much but that's just me you don't have to mark yours up but it sure makes you feel good like it's the most important thing ever on earth this word of god is more important than your wallet your business your purse your shopping everything that you love to do this word of god is more important than all of it your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Without a light on the path, we're wandering around in the darkness. Wandering around in the darkness. Wow. So many people do not open up the word of God every day. So many people think, I have it. I know it. It's right here. If I need God, I'll call him. I have it. I know it. I can quote Bible verses like that. Oh, I've been to church so many times. But God wants that relationship. Of course you're going to have knowledge about something. You have knowledge about your schoolwork. You have knowledge about your neighbors and your friends and your family. God wants a relationship. If you were to want to get to know someone, would you take a picture of them or an image of them and stare at it? Or would you read a biography about them or even their autobiography you would want to study that person from what they wrote about themselves or what a person that was right next to them wrote about them God wants you to read about him his book his author his history his autobiography I promise you the Bible says be ye doers of the word and not hearers only which means God honors faith and faith without works is dead so when you walk around in life and you choose to do, to go here you choose to go there you choose to do this and do that and you haven't consulted the Holy Spirit you haven't prayed about it first you haven't read the Word of God first to say is this your will Lord or is this just me thinking and you wait for the Lord to tell you. Then you'll know. Ah, this is what I should do. What the Lord wants you to do is get His light, His light on your path. Spend five minutes a day. That's the minimum amount. If we were to, to cheapen it or laugh about it or joke about it, that's the devil. That's mockery. Five is minimal. Surely you have five minutes a day to open up the Word of God and read it. And read it and read it and read it. That five minutes will not be enough. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It'll turn into an hour. Sometimes it'll turn to a lot more than that because you learn the power and the value behind spending private quality time in the Word of God. Today, spend more if you're spending five minutes already spend more time with the word of god you can never spend too much time with your creator you can never spend too much time with jesus christ oh yes dr hope but i i go to church and i i take care of this person and i take care of that person and i read uh my bible when i have time the lord wants you to spend time with him first Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. And then all these things will be added unto you. Oh, but I've done it and it doesn't work. Mm. Not true. 
everything happens in God's timing, not ours. He's the boss, not us. That's where we submit and say, not our will, but yours be done. Psalms 119, 105. Your word, Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. If not today, just read the entire chapter of Psalms 119. This powerful book is packed full of promises to help your life on earth be easy and for you and your loved ones to make it to heaven. It works. Don't ever think otherwise. Don't be deceived. This word is true and it works. I happen to love the King James and the New King James versions. There's the Amplified. These do not add or subtract or take anything out of what the original documentation was. The closest thing, but even closer, is when you meditate on God's precious word. You think about Psalms 119, instead of thinking about this person and that person and the money and the business and the troubles and the issues, think of what you just read in the Word of God and while you're dwelling on Him, He will take care of the rest. Draw nigh unto me and I will draw nigh unto you. Psalms 119, 105. It'll bless you today. God bless you. Thank you for listening and thank you more for obeying. Father, I thank you. As these people today pray, plus, place their hand on the screen, may the power of the Holy Ghost go into their life and into their body and into their finances and into their future, into their families, their favor, everything that they are seeking for, Lord. If their body needs healed, healed in Jesus' name. It's a spirit of infirmity. Out in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is a person watching me. You have been fighting and fighting and fighting with Luke Garrick's disease. All of those things that just torment and try to drain your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command you, foul spirit, to leave this person alone. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. In your mighty name we thank you. Amen. In closing, people people say, Well, Dr. Hope, why do you have to yell? Well, uh, I don't believe Jesus ever spoke kind to a demon. He is my master. He is my example. And he should be yours. The Bible said he spoke firmly. The Bible said he declared. The Bible said he commanded and when you command something you're not kind but that's not love it's true there's the hand of the lamb which is love and there's the hand of the lion which is to defeat the enemy that caused the problem in your life you must have both and then you need discernment to know when to be this and when to be that and to know who's the enemy and who's not and even when it is your enemy, how to love on them. God is so good. He's good all the time. He is good all the time. God bless you. Thank you for watching. I pray you have a blessed day. Go about your day in peace.